My name is Zipeng. I am from China, and I'm an art director slash designer living and working in New York City. For most Chinese people, homosexuality is a, it's not in their vocabulary. My family thinks that I'm just not a very masculine man, and they never really thought about would this boy be gay, because they just don't see that in their world. It's not a, an existence. It's like when I was a kid, I never knew that's a possibility because I just never heard of it. I had a very indirect conversation with my mom and my mom only that um, can, cannot believe I'm saying this on camera and you can use it, but I'm a little scared. Uh, so I'm actually not really out to my family. My mom and one of my cousin know that I'm gay, but my mom does not want to talk about it. Um, when I was a kid, we have a family computer, and um, <laughs> I downloaded a lot of porn, and I had it in a secret folder, and one day I discovered the folder was deleted, and I started to panic. And one night, my mom came to me in the room of the computer and she locked the door. She said to me, I really don't want to ever hear, see, or think about the nasty things that you're doing or you're interested in. And I'm going to keep this to myself and I won't tell your father because otherwise he would beat the shit out of you. I felt hurt that the person that I love the most, it's not, um, it's not accepting a possibility that his son has a different interest or have a different lifestyle, which it was pretty painful that she doesn't support me in that way. But meanwhile, I do feel that in a way it might be better that way because my parents are actually a lot older. My dad is 71, my mom is 61 and I'm 25. And he is not in great health and he has uh, heart problems. If he found out something that this drastic, something tragic might happen and um, so in a way, I felt maybe it's good they don't think about this, maybe. But to be honest, I have this urge of coming out to them every day, and I have this pros and cons list that I have on a daily basis if it's the time, but I just never felt it was really the right time. For some reason, the gay, gay topic didn't really came to my head till I really came here to realize everything is not what I was expecting. One thing I do experience a lot and more and more frequent, or at least I pay more attention to it, is the racism that I encounter as uh, Asian men. My experience of discrimination in, as Asian men comes in two different directions. Uh, I am either be in a big no-no, like extremely hated as a person that they would never ever consider as a category of people, normally if I go online or if I go to different places, they would say, no fat, no old, no Asian. And the other way, the discrimination that I felt is actually the Asian men being fetishized. How the stereotype and the stereo physique was, it is a requirement for the people who are interested in uh, Asian men. I had this guy coming over and I opened the door and he looked at me. He said, wow, 
you're a lot taller than I was expecting. So he turned around and walked away. And I stood there and, okay. We all look different, we all born different. Not every single Asian person is the same or not any other, every single person is different. So I think it's very shallow, stubborn and um, ignorant to put one of the most complex, complex ethnicity as a whole and then uh, just say no to all of them. I think it's very stupid.